everyone, I'm Scott Briard from Hot Shots Games. Uh, we're here in downtown Toronto this afternoon. Very fortunate to be here at the Charlotte Room. Rob Torres is here, um, co-owner of Charlotte Room. How many years have you been, been involved with the Charlotte Room here? Um, just over 11 years now. 11 years? Mm -hmm. I guess we met years ago, um, Chicks with Sticks. There was an event here. We had a yeah. great time. We've known each other quite a while. Quite a while. And Rob has done a great job. If you've never been to the Charlotte Room in Toronto, it is the premier place to play. Not only play pool, but where you'd want to bring a date, where you'd want to come for a great evening out. Um, some of the best kept pool tables, definitely in the city. We're here with Joanne Ashton as well, uh, past Canadian women's nine ball champion. Correct? Yes, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're very humble. <laughs> um, but of all the billiard rooms you've been to, I know you, you grew up in Calgary. Um, you spent some good time in Toronto, though, for all the billiard rooms, certainly in the downtown core of any city. I think you could say this is probably one of the best. Oh, it's one of the best spots for sure. I mean, the atmosphere is amazing, and yeah, it's just a very chill, low key time, but, so, but very fun. It is, yeah. No, it's been a great spot no matter what nights, what days we've been down here. We've had a great time. Um, been great with Rob. We actually shot our Billiard Girl calendar here back maybe about six, seven years ago. Good times. Yeah, Good unfortunately, times. Rob was Rob had to suffer through that for about 13, 14 hours that day. Um, and we just had a great opportunity. We shot a $20,000 match actually right here in this table back about a month ago. Joey, you were here for that? Yeah, it was, uh, it was awesome. Had a great time. You ever played for $20,000? That must have been pretty... No, it's pretty intense. It's good to have that experience under my belt though now. Yeah, I think you had a great time. So this was the actual, actual table we played on, um, and it's a purpose for today's video. Anyway, what I really want to discuss, um, Hot Shots, we're fortunate to be in a position where we're a distributor for Hainsworth Cloth. Now, for a lot of you that don't know about Hainsworth, it's the oldest textile company in the world. Leeds, England, cashmere blankets from Hudson's Bay. They've been making them for over 150 years. Nice little cousinly cashmere blankets with all the rainbow colors. Um, but we're here to talk about pool tablecloth. Now, Joanne, with your accent, <coughs> did you grow up playing snooker or did you grow up playing pool? Um, grew up playing pool. Right, but you're, you were born in England? Yeah. Moved to Canada in 1989. Yeah. But if you grew up playing pool, Hainsworth was it a known um, brand from England? I mean, you probably heard it as, I'm, what I'm getting to is, as a snooker cloth, Hainsworth has been known as the elite. Yeah, that's, that's the name in snooker cloth. For snooker cloth. In the UK, yes. Yeah. And over in the Canada, I think a lot of the snooker rooms, Hainsworth, to carry Hainsworth on your snooker tables, uh, was an important thing. As a room owner, mm -hmm. 10 years now. Gone through a lot of cloth. Probably bought a lot of cloth over the years. Tell us a little bit about what's important to a, a room owner in cloth. I mean, because it's not cheap to read cloth tables, especially when you have more than two, three tables. Well, Scott, we are an exception because we are pool players as well. So we love the game and we want the yep. best equipment for everyone, yep. whether it's uh, a new player or someone who's very seasoned like uh, Joanna. Um, the part of the, the, that I have to worry about is there is drinking and a little bit of uh, fun and games that go on in here and oftentimes accidents do happen. 99% uh, of the people that play pool aren't professionals and they don't know that these are very, very hard to clean and maintain so you will get the odd spill. Uh, the hardest part is people who don't know how to take care of that and end up just smudging the stain, stain all over the table and making it far worse and I have to replace it with the felt constantly. Now do you find you're replacing felt more from um, it's worn from play or is it damaged from stains? Um, it's a, it's a mixture of both. Uh, right. Unfortunately, though, the stains are the things that catch people's eye immediately. Um, what I like to do is maintain a comfortable atmosphere, and if there's a giant stain on a table and they're trying to play, it's very, very, very distracting. So um, it is very, very important that I find something that can help me get rid of those uh, little stressful situations. Right. Now, cloth itself, I mean, it's not cheap. There's a whole bunch of tables in here that need to be re-clothed. Um, what I think we find, there's a lot of brand names that you've played all over the world. Championships in China and, and everywhere else. Um, I guess consistency in cloth is not something you're going to get. Different rooms, different tournaments carry different cloth. But you have a level of expectation that you expect of the cloth. Speed. Um, tell us a little about comb worsted wool, worsted cloth, I guess more so. Um, is important to play on house cloth, felt feeling cloth. 
compared to something like what we're looking at. This is actually Hainsworth Elite Pro, so we're gonna show you some demonstrations about it and such in a bit. But this is, this is important for cloth, is the playability. Speed is important. When you do get to a level of a professional player, it is important, correct? Well, like you said, I played, I played a lot um, like in a lot of different places, a lot of different forums. Played on Simona 760, Simona 860, Granito, Speedball. And I can honestly say, after playing on this, um, yeah, it just it really compares up to those, those class two. Yeah, so the premier brands out there for pool table cloths. Did you know that you played here a match? I mean, the match was what, six hours? Yeah. Did you notice a difference playing on this? Did you even no, know you were playing you on Simona Squinito? Yeah, if, you didn't, if you didn't tell me the name, I would, I would never know the difference. Well, that's, that's great to know because... Reliability. Yeah, now, as a pool room owner, did you ever buy some? Did you pay that extravagant, oh, absolutely. exorbitant price to... Again, I'm a pool player, so I wanted nothing but the best. Um, yeah. But unfortunately, Simona is extremely expensive and still needed replacing after an accidental spill of a glass of wine. Uh, Guinness Jägermeister, <laughs> which often causes a lot of breakage and spills. In the a lot of place. Jäger gets drank over pool tables. And what happens is everyone, hey, nice game, cheers right over the table over the top of the table and there they go Oops. makes a big big difference so Hainsworth cloth it's actually elite pro they have Hainsworth smart um, there's Hainsworth club there's a bunch of different other their snooker levels there's Hainsworth traditional great house cloth elite pro I guess is what we're discussing here it's a worsted cloth it's made in England and it's baked in Teflon so we're providing a cloth which is so great about Hainsworth elite pro it is the playability of tournament quality that a Canadian champion would expect going into a tournament. And for a room owner, especially somewhere great like the Charlotte Room, and this is stuff where, have you had spills on this table? Um, yes, I have. Uh, the great thing about it is it does beat. Um, if you've ever had scotch guarding in your car and you've spilled things on there, you understand what that does to it. There's nothing worse when I see it hit the table and it slowly starts spreading out and seeping. The great thing is the liquids that have ever been spilled just stay in one big ball. Yeah. So as long as you just dab it, it comes right off. Now knowing the cost of replacing cloth, have you ever been behind the bar in the area and you see that drunken fool at 1.30, there goes the beer. I mean, what? it's just like a... Many people here have had to pay for the, to replace the cloth because it's normally there. Uh, responsible. Irresponsible. Yeah, you break behavior. it, you buy it. Yeah. You break it, you buy it, that sort of thing. Uh, the great thing about this is everyone's happy after a little accident. Right. I can take care of the table, I still have a beautiful table, and the next person that comes on it has uh, what they believe is a brand new table. Well, we're going to do something to uh, we're gonna clear some space here. I don't know if Rob's seen. Oh, <laughs> Rob mentioned Guinness before, so let's actually, Joe, we're gonna, we know the playability is great, we know the balls play well, we're gonna have a chance to watch you, Risky Business, I believe air date is about October 2nd, uh, with Brett Wilson from Calgary as well as Joanne, um, great episode, we had a great day here, fantastic, for that, great so, match. So back to that, we know the playability is here. You and Brittany Bryant, six hours, battled on the table. It was a great afternoon. Um, but for you, it's, it's important that, that the clock... Wait, so we're, <laughs> before you do that. <laughs> I told Rob I might actually pour some. It actually balls up. We're going to zoom in on this and do what we have to later on. We're going to do a little bit more. It's like an infomercial. Rob's having a heart attack right hey, now. Hey, buddy. But if we actually beat it up, give it a chance to dry. This stuff dries right up. And once it's all dry, we don't even have a mark left. And a little bit of wetness. And Rob can it's go... Off these more. And then I can <laughs> quickly brush it. And Rob can go right back to work and, uh, and not have to worry about the next people coming in to use his table. So, guys, thanks for watching. We hope you had a little while with Rob here. Joanne, thanks for spending some time with us. No it's problem, important. Scott. You know how important cloth is? It's like cues, balls, chalk, all the important things that go into having a great game and being able to play at your Confidence. level. Yeah, that all this stuff works out. And, and it's great to know that we have such a great billiard room downtown Toronto. If you haven't been to the Charlotte Room, haven't played here on a date with your spouse or as a company party, if you haven't had a chance to get down. Check out www.charlotteroom.com. Charlotteroom.com. Great place to play. Yeah, joanneashton.com for more information about Joanne and where she uh, she's going to be appearing, exhibitions and different things coming up. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you letting us come down. Thanks. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Have a great Cheers. day.